Okay, I thought I'd show you a live version of a scorpion this time, rather than the usual alcohol embedded dead one. This one is Eurydaka Sheshinkoi. He is well and truly alive. This is a pre-adult instar. I think he's about a fourth. And uh, quite a healthy specimen if we have a look at him. He's um, really probably getting ready to shed his skin, hopefully not too just in the future. He's very healthy. There's no signs of mycosis. He's living in a sealed container. The soil's been cooked. Um, and um, what are, he has got a few mites which would have been on his body at the time when I placed him into the container. So I'll just see if we can find some of those mites. There's one. Uh, let's have a look. I'll have to increase the brightness here a little bit. Just down inside there. Look, there's one. It's got a hypopus mite right in the middle. Median eyes, lateral eyes, carapace with a frontal notch. This part in here, let's see if we can just. Uh, this part in here is called the frontal notch. And it can be rounded, it can be truncate, which means it's square, it can be um, non existent, where the frontal lobes just join up. Out a notch. You can see there's two pairs of eyes um, on each side. Touch his eye, he'll react. No, it's really tame. Here's his chelicery. His mouth parts. Have a look at that brush. The brush is amazing. These guys have secondary serrations, like small teeth amongst the large teeth. You can't see them because his mouth's closed, of course. But Secondary serrations. Not all the Eurydicas have secondary serrations. It's usually the aridated ones, for some reason, that have it. What I'll show you here is the uh, the, uh, the Trichobothria. If I breathe on him, watch this. See the little tiny hairs moving. They're the ones that are called the Trichobothria. Trichobothria are used in taxonomic investigations quite frequently. Initially described by a fellow called Varkon. The ones that don't move are the seti, those really fine hair like ones. They're attached to a little, a little, like a little um, nervous system, which is like a ball, and it picks up movement in every direction. So the scorpion. Has an indication of air currents that are coming past it. Something moves by and disturbs the air. The scorpion will know. Because if it sits in this burrow, the air is very still. If anything starts moving down that burrow and pushes air around, the scorpion will soon find out. Very, very sensitive trifle